Hey guys and welcome to the Minecraft Snapshot 13W16A I think and I'm basically going to be covering all of the new things that are in this snapshot. First thing to notice we have a new launcher which I think will even let you play older versions of Minecraft. Next to all they've added horses you'll basically just find them roaming around um, just and spawning randomly I think but if you're in creative mode and you want to spawn them in they may be spawned as babies so to make them grow up you just feed them a bit of sugar same goes with donkeys so to ride your horse you're going to want a saddle which you make with using three iron and five leather next of all to tame a horse it's a bit more difficult you just basically have to keep on right clicking it and you're basically gonna ride it it's gonna kick you off a few times but you just have to keep on trying until it falls in love with you the next cool thing they've added about horses is horse armor you basically make this by making a sort of J shape with rather iron, gold or diamond and then putting one piece of wool in the middle, doesn't matter what colour and then you can get iron armour, gold armour and diamond armour for your horsey The next cool thing they've added is this rope lasso thing which you can attach to your horse and then you can pull him along. You can also attach him to a pole but it's not just horses you can do this too, you can do it with pretty much any mob. See that I just did it with a cow. This also means you can take your dogs for walkies. As you can see here um, when you kill a horse, not that you would ever want to do that, um, you have a small chance of getting some leather. Well I say small chance, um, I'd say it's about 50-50 actually. And of course there is donkeys, which you can saddle up and then you can put a chest on them. I don't think they've added storage yet, but hopefully, in the, well obviously in the future there will be. Next thing I'm going to show you is when riding a horse, you can actually jump by holding down space. And you can see by that little bar there, it kind of has like a limit, I guess. Um, depending on how long you hold it down is how big the jump is going to be. You can also break blocks, attack mobs and shoot them with bow and arrows whilst riding the horse and your horse will not get damaged. So now you can have epic horse battles with your friend and I can't wait to see what map creators do with this, this is going to be amazing. They have also added carpet which rises off the floor just a tiny bit which means you can now have an upstairs floor as wall without affecting the ceiling or having it two blocks thick. You simply make the carpet by putting two pieces of wool together in a crafting bench or in your 2x2 crafting space in your inventory. Placing carpet is just as easy as placing any other block. Next up we have hay barrels. Which are pretty cool, they don't have a crafting recipe yet but um, probably, it's probably going to be something with wheat maybe or grass. Anyway it's going to be cool. Um, I think it's just like a decoration building block for now, but maybe it will have another use in the future. It is placed down like log, so it can pretty much face in any position you want it to face. And finally, to do with the respiration enchantment on the helmet, when you now go underwater, it is now much, much brighter as opposed to when you have it off, when it is when it just goes back to normal, which I think is a pretty cool idea. So now you can breathe underwater for longer and you can see brighter, pretty cool. So that's it for this snapshot, if you want to check it out yourself the link is in the description and if I missed anything out let me know in the comments below. For now, bye!